Poppy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm excited because I'm going to be trying out some new gel polishes from Nail Reserve. They were kind enough to send me over some new polishes to check out for you guys. So let's get into it, okay? These are the colors that they sent me. I'm super excited to take a closer look at these colors with you guys. First color here is Sugar Magnolia. Ooh, and this is a really nice um, mauve nude color. It seems like it'd be a really good nail bed color. Electric yellow. Ooh, look at that. What a fun neon yellow. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love it. It's so bright and vibrant. Yes, I love it. For me. Okay. And this is kind of a, a really muted peach color. Really nice. Malibu, which was, it looks like a gorgeous purple. Ooh, and it is. Look at that. It's a beautiful, nice, rich purple color. I love that. Super cute. Love fling. Oh, how cute. This is a really pretty light blue color. Really, really nice. Not like a baby blue, but just like a light blue. Really pretty. Electric orange, which is also a part of their neon collection. Oh my God, look at that. It's the vibrancy for me, okay? This is really, really gorgeous. Wow, I love it. I can't wait to get these swatched out. Last but not least is Marry Me. And I picked this color up because I thought it would be like a really nice soft pink color and it definitely is. How cute is this, okay? All right, so yeah, y'all, let's get the swatching. Electric orange. Oh my gosh, y'all see that? How nice, bright, and vibrant is this? Holy moly. This is a gorgeous orange, oh my gosh. I actually have a client who really, really loves really bright neon orange colors. She is going to love this. Very, very nice. Lovely. Electric yellow. Oh my gosh. Just as bright and vibrant as the orange. This is a really beautiful neon yellow. It's interesting. I feel like neon yellows kind of look like a neon green almost. But this is really gorgeous. One coat coverage as well. Well, one coat coverage, you can get away with one coat, but if you want to build up the opacity, definitely do two coats. Sugar Magnolia. Oh yeah, that's a really nice nude. Very pretty. It's a really good nail bed color. That's really pretty. I can see doing a lot of cool French tips with these. It's really cute. For me. How cute. That says it's a really cute kind of muted peach color. Very nice. Definitely one coat coverage on that. Malibu. Wow. A nice rich purple. I love it. You will need two coats of this though. Really pretty. Lovely. Oh yeah, look at that. So cute. The coverage is everything though for this. I love it. Yeah, that's a really nice blue. Marry me. This is a really, this is another good nail bed color. Really cute, super versatile. So this is what all the colors are looking like swatched out. Let's get an up close look here. So this here is electric orange and it is electrifying. I absolutely love this color, super bright, vibrant. Electric yellow, which is this really gorgeous neon yellow. Y'all know that's my favorite color, so can't wait to do some summertime looks with this. Sugar Magnolia, which is a really beautiful mauve nude. For me is a really beautiful muted peach color. I like this a lot. Malibu is this gorgeous, vibrant purple. Looks like it has blue undertones to it, very pretty. Love Fling, which is this gorgeous summertime blue. Last but not least is Marry Me, which is this really beautiful soft pink color, very versatile um, color that you can do nail 
abstract nail art with French tips, glitter ombres, um, and just even just cute in general as a nail bed color. That's really, really cute. So I'm going to do some puffy heart nails, and actually I'm going to use this color Mary Me. I saw this on C's Tutorials channel. Um, she's been keeping me hip with all the new latest trends that are going on, and puffy nails was something that I wanted to try out. It kind of looks like a soft pillow. So I do have a square nail tip here, okay, and I'm going to do my puffy nails on here. And I'm just going to go in with two coats of Marry Me, okay? And I'm going to apply two coats of that to the, to the nail. After you apply two coats of your base color, then you're going to go in and draw some matte hearts on top of the base. And so, I guess I'll just go ahead and do that with, maybe should I do it in a different color? That's not gonna work. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it in this color still. And I'm just gonna dab just the itty bitty dot of this gel polish right here. You don't need a lot. Okay. Well, maybe a little bit more than that actually. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in and make my hearts. So you'll just take a little bit of the gel polish on the dotting tool. Okay. And then I'm gonna draw. A heart right here I'm just gonna do one here a dot here and then I'm gonna connect them with my dotting tool like so okay mm, I don't like how that turned out I'm gonna do that again so you'll take your dotting tool and do a dot here a little bigger and then a dot here and that's one heart and the second heart I'll do a dot here and a dot here okay and then what you want to do is you want to take your liner brush here put a little bit of gel on it and then you'll want to connect the two um, dots at the bottom and then connect them at the top so I'm gonna just go on the outside of it and connect it like so that's perfect connect it at the bottom and then connect it in the middle and then fill it in. Perfect heart. Look at that. Lovely. And then you do the same thing with the bottom. You'll connect it here and then connect it here. And then connect in the middle up top. And it is good to go. And so you'll go ahead and cure. After the hearts have been cured, you want to go in um, on top of those hearts with a matte top coat. I'm going to use my Beatles matte top coat for that. I'm going with the same technique and just uh, trace over the heart. So I'll do a dot and a dot and then connect the two, fill it in. Do the same thing at the bottom, do a dot. Okay, and then you'll fill it in. Good and cure. So this is what the nail is looking like with the two hearts uh, cured with that matte top coat. So next you're going to go in with some builder gel. So I have my Simply Pink from um, Lissette's Gel Nails. And you want to go around those hearts with a layer of the builder gel. Okay. So I'm going to take just a smidge of the builder gel here on my brush. And I'm going to just fill in the area in between the hearts. And that's going to create that puffy look. So, this pink is a little bit deeper, but I think that's just fine though, because it's actually going to create some really cool contrast for those matte hearts that's going to be in the middle there. And so, yeah, I'm just building up the gel on here to give it that puffy look. 
Okay, happy people. So the process to fill in um, the gaps or that open space between the hearts took a total of five minutes to do, which was actually longer than I was expecting it to take. So I just took my time um, filling it in and anytime I lifted my brush away from the product, um, I did make sure that I tapped it first to reconnect that bead um, and then continued on building. And I am going to slow, slow that process down a little bit so you guys can see um, exactly what I'm talking about here shortly. But um, I actually had a lot of fun making this nail. Um, again, it was a little more time consuming than what I thought. I can't imagine doing a whole full set uh, of these puffy nails. I just feel like it'd take a while. But the end result was really, really pretty. But here is where you see me slowing it down. And I'm just taking my time right around that heart um and trying to get as close to it as possible without actually touching it um and i want the the gel around the heart to be kind of raised so now i'm flipping the nail over to make sure that it starts to level because i did notice that some of the gel was kind of shifting off to the side of the nail so as i'm working around these hearts again i'm trying to get as close as possible and flipping the nail over frequently just to make sure that that gel is uh leveling um and and really giving it that and, and filling in around that heart as much as possible um so yeah i really like this design it was fun to try out it was fun to do and i feel like Lissette's gels um Builder gel was really good to use because it's really beginner friendly and it's a really thick consistency so the gel wasn't sliding around all over the place. I had a lot of control over it as I was trying to build these puffy heart nails. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you all finish watching me build around that heart and um, I'll show you guys how to seal it in. That looks good, good and cure. All right, y'all, it is coming together nicely. So last thing left to do is just apply top coat to the builder gel and then we'll have our little puffy heart nail oh my gosh so cute i'm gonna go in with this top coat from nail reserve i want to still use my little liner brush here just to make sure i don't get the top coat where i don't want it to be i'm gonna go ahead and just paint most of the nail not get too close to the hearts because i don't want the color or i don't want the um top coat to just run into the the mat so i'm just going to paint the outside of it first like so top coat on the brush and just try to get as close as possible to the heart without actually touching it and then you'll flip for 60 cure for 60 all right, you guys, so this is my first attempt at a puffy nail. What do you guys think? I think I could get a little bit better at getting close to the heart. Oops, I think I can get a little bit better at getting closer to the heart to make it look even more puffier, but this is a super cute design, oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm really loving how this turned out. What do y'all think about my puffy heart nail? I feel like I need to practice with it a little bit more, but I think for the first attempt, it came out super duper cute, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all, this is how hers turned out. Okay, and then this is how mine's turned out. Okay, close enough, close enough. I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. I really love working with nail reserve polishes. I mean, they are really great, not only for doing gel polish manis, but also for nail art, because they're super pigmented. Um, and like I said, creating that nail art, super easy and fun to do with these polishes. I definitely reach for them a lot when I'm doing nail art designs. And so special thanks to Nail Reserve uh, for sending these over for review. I do have a discount code with them for half off actually. So I'm going to leave that discount code here on the screen as well as in the description box below in case you guys want to save some coin if you're shopping their website. And yeah, let me know your thoughts and if you all have tried the Puffy Heart Nail Design. Um, how did it turn out for you if you did? Um, any tips and tricks? Greatly appreciated, okay? I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!